Hello again and welcome to this boring boring video okay so now I'm gonna show you how to clean this up if you heard there is something called as a group node so a group node is basically like something like an instance if you can you can call it that okay so what up so you don't want this whole mess okay if you saw the the other thing it had a group node the other file so what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean it up before cleaning up clean it uh, putting it in the group node directly we have to clean it up internally so we can if you have node rectangular enable shift and then right right yeah right right click okay and drag so we're gonna join all of this because they all going to the same thing and let's just group them so select all of them which you need to group control G easy now what things that you may want to keep out I don't I don't know what would you want to keep out There's not much so you can just this is just your drawing so you can keep that you, otherwise like suppose you wanted to when you are when you're outside the group node you want to change the radius of the circle you can get this out okay and then you can change this outside okay, that's good. but I don't think I'm going to do that so that's it we have done a group node now what you can do is now I'm going to show you how to make it rotate. It's really simple. All you do is a vector, vector rotate. Okay. So if you change the angle, you're basically rotating it. Okay. So these are simple parameters. Okay. So the center defines where your center is. So right now, let me just get this out of the way. Right now, we want the center to be at 0, 0. Okay, with the 3D cursors. Okay, just, just, by the way, the 3D cursor doesn't have to always be at this, at 0, 0. It can be anywhere. Just say. Okay, so, we have a center at 0, 0, 0. Okay. We can change it. Like, suppose we want it to be at 0, 1. Okay. On the x-axis, we can have it at 1. And it will rotate on that. So the one x is equal to one at this point. So it will rotate to that. Suppose you want to change it like y is also equal to one. You can change. So it's ro rotating with respect to this. So this is the center. Okay, simple. And this is the other thing. So the axis. The axis is on what axis it's rotating so if you're on the 3d view if you rotate press r to rotate and if you press any of the letters x y or z it will constrain it to that axis so if you z it will rotate it in this axis so that orientation orientation i don't know if that's the right word okay or x is like that and y is like this so if you suppose rotate it R90, I mean R Z90, okay, it will rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees. Okay, if you press Alt R to clear the rotation and you do that same, axis is equal to whichever is equal to 1 is that axis. So when z is equal to 1, it will rotate on z. When y is equal to 1, it will rotate on y. But if y and z is equal to 1, it will rotate on the axis that is... Uh, I don't know. I'm not so sure. It will rotate on like both axes equally, like half on... I don't know. Okay, so uh, if you rotate the same thing by 90, you will get the same thing. but in the opposite direction didn't know that okay and the same thing with if you rotate in 
why you take this you won't see that so if you zero rotate on y so this is like what you see and I, I'm not so sure if you can see that but you should okay I'm not so sure don't ask me why this is happening I don't know I should have known maybe it's the inverse so point zero 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 one something like that okay i i do not know sorry sorry okay but we don't need to know that now we only need to know how to rotate on the x-axis so you got your clock rotating yay now we know that a clock clocks don't start at the number three it starts at 12. so if you rotate it by negative 90 you can offset it so what we're going to do is we're not going to control this directly but we're going to control it we're not going to plug in the value over here directly we're going to make it go through some math before that okay so in this i'm going to show you about drivers i mean i'm not going to teach you about drivers like the entire thing that's that's not difficult but it's you have to get your head around it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a driver so if you type hash or hashtag frame it will make a driver okay if you you can delete this driver and you can do the same thing if you suppose have a time in if this is your frame if you right click and copy a new driver and then paste driver same thing Okay, so what it's going to do is this value is going to be copied to this value. Okay, that's it. On frame 13, this is on value 13. Lucky number. Okay, so we keep that to the side. And we add a math. Okay, so converter math. So now for a clock, we don't. Uh, so for suppose you have it. Okay, let, let, let me explain this. The first thing is that when you plugged it in, okay, you must have seen that this went to that angle, and that, that's like that's not one. This is one. This is zero. It should go to this, but what's happening? The thing is that blender it's actually gonna be measured in radians, so radians, okay. So it's which when it's inputted, when a value is getting input in that put in that, it gets converted to radians. So what we need to do is shift A converter math and then you need to convert it to radians yep convert it to radians because you want the value to be radians so, done so if you play it it will be every frame you're moving one degree but the thing is about clocks if you've learned this i don't know why i don't know why we learned this in math but we learned it but it was helpful so Clocks move every six degrees, I guess. It should be. Every six degrees, six degrees every second. Okay, so it will move six degrees every frame. You don't want that. You want it to move six degrees every second. So let me try to explain this to you. Suppose, so, so your frame rate is frames per second. So if, so for seconds, if you divide this, so you get this, and you divide this by your frame rate, which is frame rate 24, you will get the equal. So at one second, this will equal to 24. So on the 24th frame, you will have 
one second one second will have been gone by and then this will be equal to one because 24 divided by 24 is one so and then one into six is six okay you got that so it moves so you got it now so we're doing the second set so if you've seen a clock which i've asked you before i'm sure you have some clocks don't go so smoothly at least the second set they go tick 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 okay so what we do is duplicate the math node we're going to use many math nodes okay so what we do is you put a snap so what a snap does it snaps it okay so there you can check on the 24th frame it will move i guess oh 25th frame so it's offset by one so a simple fix you just add i mean subtract one or add one add one so just add one to it two three so you'll see that every second it moves so that's it yes that's simple now we just as we did in the last time i mean this time we group it because that's what we do and we are not going to keep this inside okay so we can change this afterwards so these are like the things that we're going to keep outside and group this control g let's group so what would we want to keep outside this is our thing naming is really important so vector you can keep it a vector or you can name it to texture for c o o or donate okay and this value so we have to know what this value is what are you feeding into it you're fe feeding into the frame number so frame number and then you know that this value is your frame rate so you take this value and plug it into the empty so socket and frame rate and um, i don't think you need anything more that's about it and let's i may have forgotten how to do this but i'm sure we can do it together okay so let's duplicate this let's make the minute hand okay let's just connect this and as i had told you before group nodes are like instances so you will have this this is the number of users so i want to make this a single user so i click on this now this is a different node group because if i didn't have this all the changes that i did to this inside the group would come to this that's useful but not now so we're going to edit this we are going to see a way that you can make it slower so over here it moves every second but for a minute hand you need it to move every minute so what you do is you divide what do you divide by you divide by uh, we can cut this just for now so if you play this so, so let's just go to one minute okay so 24 so 24 frames and then into 60 so 60 seconds is one minute so let's go to that frame and it should be over here and it should just i mean it should not be over there it should go in front five degrees not so sure we will find out okay so this will go opposite because we are going opposite so it should move 
over here that's the time that it should move so what you do is you plug in that set this to multiplier and we need the frame rate like every time you change the frame rate you should not go and like oh i need to do the math for this let's just do it you don't need to you have math notes that's why we have math notes so you can make it all procedural so let's see if you move this if you play this now it goes faster so you can come now see when it's one we'll wait for one second but then when you multiply it by 0.5 and 5 which is half it will go faster so what if we multiply it by 2 it will make it go slower okay and just yeah I don't know if you like this but I don't like this okay this snap thing for the minute hand so I'm going to delete it only just mute it for this press M it mutes so it will mute it will move every frame so I'm going to tell you the value over here it's 12 okay so at should be please be yep at 12 that that's the value that you put okay so yep that's it and if you want to join these together math add you plug these and you duplicate this so now these are linked so you know that plug in the vector and you have yourself a clock without an R and but still good okay so let me give you a challenge I want you to make an R hand the same principle okay find a way because just like i found mine okay so bye bye